What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Morning Edge. Myself, Deb Press Picks, joined by my man, Ricky Bobby. We got four picks for you guys, three and one on the last episode. So we've been rolling so far, but we're going to look for a nice sweep today. So, JT, we're going to head to the ice. Uh, start us off with your two best bets. All right, well, guys, I got two uh, plays for you guys today. Actually going with um... – yeah, I'm just pulling up my notes on this. Whenever I do the recording, maybe you ever did. So uh, first play, I'm going with uh, St. Louis Blues team total over three and a half at minus one fifteen. Uh, they're taking on the Flyers at home tonight. Uh, always like the notes on home ice; they show out a lot uh, there. And you know, if you kind of look at the numbers, it's where they tend to do a little bit more with the scoring. Um, their team total at home this season. I mean, they think they're ribbit about it. It's like a three, seven, eight right now. And, uh, you know, this back half of the season has been a little rougher for them. Um, they dropped, you know, they're about 500 through a 10 game stretch here in the last, you know, two, three weeks. And for a team that's going to make a playoff push or, you know, will at least be there when they start and has the ability to, um, and, you know, a team that started off hotter to start the season as far as points go and everything, I don't expect them to fall off the end. They should have a better push. This is a game where you kind of get your two points and get your home win. Um, I like them to, you know, have three by that end of the third period and get the empty netter at worst, but they should have four by then um, as it is. Panthers, Jets, uh, Moneyline Parlay is the other one. I was going to do something with a period there, but, really isn't a need. Um, Florida's super well rested right now. They've been off for, God, I want to say four days. Might even be five. Um, they're going to Montreal to take on Montreal. Uh, I love the way that Montreal's playing under uh, Martin St. Louis. And, um, you know, it goes to say, I mean, they had seven wins through four months, and they have 16 in a month and a half since. Like, they're a way better team under him than they were. But, um, you know, they're still an 18-win team for a reason. They're taking on Florida, who's a cup contender, uh, who's, you know, nine times out of ten, they dominate this game. They should deny Same thing with, uh, you know, Winnipeg here. They're just playing the best hockey they have all season. Uh, Connor Hellebuck's playing a little sharper. They're really burying the puck. And, um, yeah, Ottawa hasn't really been too special on the road. Forsberg is going to have to just – be lights out tonight to shut out Winnipeg. And after what they've been doing to teams, I don't see it. That money line parlay comes out to minus 111. Um, awesome value on that. That's all I got. All righty. Sounds good. Let's get a nice 2 new sweep there. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys one college basketball and then one NBA. So first one's going to be Gonzaga team total under 82 and a half. This is a, a sharper look. Um, obviously, this team can score. But Arkansas is one of the better defenses in the, uh, in the nation. So they don't allow... A lot of points a game. You know, they're allowing less than uh, 69 points per game, so they're well under this average. Gonzaga, obviously one of the best offenses in the country, but I think the only way Gonzaga wins is if they, uh, you know, slow pace, kind of muck this thing up, you know, get into half-court sets. If they get into a track meet, they're dead. So they're going to have to play this game slow uh, and try and control pace, do what they can here. And defensively, I think they hold them under this number, 82 and a half. It's a big number here, so I think we're going to be able to uh, to slide under that. And then the second pick, I'm going to go back to the NBA. We're going to go Nuggets minus three. I think this thing moves up and closes at four, four and a half. Uh, the Suns here are on a back-to-back -back spot, so I don't fade the Suns often, but looking here at a road back-to-back, -back, they had a tough game last night in Minnesota. Their starters were uh, taxed in that game, played a lot of minutes. It was a super close game. Throughout, So I think this is a good spot. The tired legs get to the Suns. Nuggets and Knight uh, off last night, and they have stayed in Denver. So they played in Denver on Tuesday. Denver's a really tough place to play here in the mile high. Um, so I think the Suns have some trouble getting their legs underneath them. Might stay closer in the first half, but ultimately the Nuggets pull away. And like I said, I think this number will continue to climb throughout the day. So try and lock that in early. So there's my two picks. Hoping for another sweep. Uh, for you guys tonight, and that's all I got, JT. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in for episode three here. Uh, make sure you lock these ones in early. Point of doing this early is for that line value. As you said, your line's going to move. That money line parlay is going to be steamy. 
uh, later on in the day. So lock them in and let's get these caches early. That's all I got. And uh, best of luck to everyone who tails. All right. See you guys.